there are several areas that contributed to this uh, big uh, advancement and therefore a contribution to the control rates and also reduction of uh, side effects of radiation treatment. Um, first and foremost, the uh, advancement in mechanical engineering, biomedical engineering, where better sophisticated machines like linear accelerators delivering more precise uh, radiation, better quality radiation is a big plus. Um, also in terms of computing, the powers of computing has improved so much and that really helps us to have very uh, powerful softwares and computing for programs to run and to develop sophisticated treatment planning. So that um, helped us a lot in terms of being able to uh, deliver more complex treatment to patients. And this actually helps in reducing um, the doses that comes close to the tumour, i.e. in the normal tissues, uh, such as brain, such as spinal cord, salivary glands in the head and neck region. And so that significantly helps to reduce side effects without us having to compromise on the dose that we can deliver to the tumour. The third area is the understanding of um, how cancer cells um, get killed by radiation and how um, drugs can also be used to interact with the radiation to produce several effects. One, um, where drugs can actually enhance the effect of uh, radiation, therefore you get better cell kill with the same dose of radiation. Or you could ro lower the dose of radiation, but you find that the side effects would be decreased without uh, compromising on the uh, control rates. The other area is also with drugs. Um, we could use it in a way where it could help to prevent uh, spread of the cancer to the other sites whilst radiation is used to work on a local area. So that's a synergistic effect. Also, you find that um, nowadays, it is more of a multidisciplinary aspect. So the advancement is not only in radiation, equipment, software, radiobiology understanding. It is also the advancement of the various other disciplines, such as surgical techniques, doing less, um, reducing the uh, loss of function with doing less surgery, using radiation or drugs to compensate that part, to act as what we call adjuvants, add-ons to prevent it from recurring. Um, advancement in ICU care where you can do better surgery, bigger surgery and yet not increasing side effects. And that is a plus point for radiation because the smaller the bulk of uh, disease, the better the radiation works and the lower the radiation dose is required. Nursing care, understanding and uh, diagnosing the tumour specimens accurately by our pathologist, molecular level where you use stains and studies to typify or rather to uh, specify what particular cell that is, what expressions it have to give you a more accurate diagnosis. All this really helps in uh, the advancement in radiation oncology.